So whether it's a driver, six iron, yeah. pitching wedge, even a putt, even a three foot putt, the same it, yeah. sequence needs to be. So we put the club down behind the golf ball. We get that first, okay? We that know is. the information of the golf club. It goes behind the golf yeah. ball. We, we're not guessing it now. We know for a fact it goes there. So we're getting these things information correct. Once we've got the club face sat down correctly, we then grip it, okay? Get the grip of the club in doing so. We're creating our spine angle over the ball, yeah. looking for that 90 degrees, which to be fair, if you go dot to dot there, you're pretty much spot on. There. So you're getting a good start position there. Gripping the club now with your right hand. So your feet now aren't being set until... Everything's done. So your grip, your spine, everything's done in place. And then with the driver, as we said, the ball now is going to be just left of centre because we want to be striking this golf ball slightly yeah. on the way up with the ball on the tee. That tee's a smidgen high. You're looking for roughly half the ball above the club. <clears throat> That's probably almost all the ball yeah. above the ball, which is why a couple That's were going a little high. bit high. Okay, But for the most part, again, even the ones that were high were still fairly straight because the release of that club was good. So once you set yourself up to the top of the backswing there, now you get a nice little waggle to loosen the, the muscles there, not get too tight. And then we set the swing now. The left arm's looking a lot lower over the shoulder. Now it's not going back quite so high. So we can come back to goal. Now the feeling for you is that club face now, you're going to release and rotate your arms exactly. The club now is pointing over there. What feels to you is the yellow line straight. In reality, the club face is pointing there. Yeah. So I think of a clock face. The yellow line's 12 o'clock. Red line's half one. Green line's half ten. Yeah. So we've got to try and get the sensation of swinging more on that green line with the club face. Not the direction the club swings, yeah, but the direction the, the face. face is pointing. Okay, yeah. so you feel your arms are going to be rolling over rather than sort of counter sort of rolling. So your left arm pulling through a little bit on this and almost trying to sort of hit it down the line straight. Yeah. What we should see around here, that left hand there should be covering up by the right hand. If the left hand is still visible, it means your hands have come through sort of quite high. If I was to roll your arms and say your left arm would cover your right arm now you wouldn't see it okay so you can run that's why your swing does finish quite high up here you get that fold here so that's how your right arm now is blocking the left arm we should get that but be more but down there. there rather than that left arm pulling away if you did that that's where the club faces up and i think when you do that as a practice swing do some of those shots there with that club going way left what yeah. feels to you way left and really short and in reality it's going to be a fairly straight shot but you can do that with practice like i say on the golf course in some ways it'll be tough to trust that you're playing at wherever golf course you play if there's out of bounds or a ditch or some yeah. trees on the left hand side to stand. Yeah, oh, yeah. So one Let's do it. It. exactly. So it's why on the range to get the practice of trust. So you start getting your reel and your feel to be closer. If the reel and feel are wide apart, it's tough to do on the golf course. Yeah. Because you're, you're going to try and swing it towards where you want to go, but in reality it's going to go over there. Well, if there's trouble on the left hand side. Do you really want to try and swing it over that way? Not at all. No. So you're just going to get down and, and go. Oh no, sod that, and just going to wing it where you're right. So a bit of practice with that club face, so you become aware of where that's pointing. Like I say. With a bit of practice, three or four sessions on the range there, you're going to become more club face aware of when that is aiming there, that's what it feels like. Yeah. Okay? And a bit of practice with that, I'm sure that will find the driver going a lot straighter and a lot further as it was there. Some of those shots there, mate, were really, I mean, 230 yeah, plus with a high tee. If you get that right high tee, more sweet spot strike, another 10, 15, 20 yards on that. So. I'll be happy with that. Make sense? All day, yeah. Happy days, mate.